bathtub or shower offer simple cleaning and a fresh updated look. We offer in-home financing and make no payments for six full months. Call Long Baths today to install your new bath or shower while keeping your family safe. Isn't it time you got along? This is the time. We won't stop. I believe it down today more than ever before. The change, it will come. A seventh night of protests in the nation's capital, and not even heavy storms could keep people away. Plus, one business owner whose store was destroyed has a message for everyone. I just couldn't be mad. I couldn't be angry. And the search is on for this cyclist caught on camera. Why a group of young people say he assaulted them. Right now at 11, live pictures from near the White House where some protesters remain even after the storms. Now we're going to have coverage on this team, coverage from the ground in Washington. But first, we're on weather alert as strong and severe storms push through. A group of protesters were hanging in there despite those downpours. And lots of lightning as well, completely filling up the skies there this evening. The wind also howling. All right, let's get right over to Stormwatch 7's Steve Rudin, tracking where the rain is now. Steve. All right, so the rain continues to move across the area with additional heavy rain off toward the west of us. Newly issued within the last 10 minutes, a flash flood watch for the D.C. metro area. It includes the district, Arlington, Alexandria, Prince George's County, and Fairfax and Montgomery. Farther off toward the west, over toward Shenandoah and Rappahannock and Page, that is a flash flood warning as they could pick up another inch to two inches of rain over the next several hours. That's until 445 tomorrow morning. Here's what it looks like in terms of rainfall totals for this evening. About an inch and a half at Children's Hospital in the district, a little less than that in Germantown, and about an inch and a quarter in Alexandria. So lots of wet weather to go around. This is where it's raining the heaviest right now, just along the I-80 one corridor and as we move through the evening hours the rest of the evening into the overnight we are going to look for the heaviest the rain to diminish to just showers coming up we're going to talk on yet about another round of wet weather for the day tomorrow all right steve we'll come right back to you now before those storms this evening a march along the national mall to the martin luther king memorial thousands demanding justice and taking a knee for nearly nine minutes the amount of time george floyd was pinned down well tonight abc7 has team coverage of protest in and around dc and businesses reopening after damaging riots over the weekend let's start with annalisa gale and the protest continuing with no curfew tonight annalisa Michelle, protesters are much closer to this new White House fence tonight with federal police opting to go behind the fence tonight. We know that this new fence will likely be up until about June 10th with demonstrations expected to continue into the weekend. As family and friends said goodbye to George Floyd. I don't want justice. We want justice for George. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Protests continued for the seventh day in the district. The D.C. band known as Crush Funk used music to call for change. There's people down here who need their spirits lifted up and their minds to be right. Tr truly believe change is going to come. It's been uh, a long time and there's so much that's happened. Some volunteering in other ways to keep protesters inspired. We asked around to a couple of different restaurants, asked if they would donate some coffee. We bought the bread, the peanut butter, the jelly ourselves, the bear claws, the muffins. From the Lincoln Memorial to the White House, protesters had a unified message. And I'm here to support all the black communities in our country, um, stop the injustices that are plaguing communities. With tens of thousands expected on Saturday for an even larger protest, many say they will return. I think there's a message with the numbers. I think that we can see people from all over, people from all different types of backgrounds kind of supporting this cause. We need justice for George Floyd and for all other people who have been discriminated against. Last night, there were zero arrests in the city related to demonstrations. Chief Newsham is hoping for the same tonight. There are no curfews in effect tonight for the first time in about two days. I'll send it back to you. All right, Annalisa, thank you very much. Well, new tonight at 11, the Fraternal Order of Police for U.S.